I mean, obviously humility is important, but um, I don't know. This also paints the picture of young, of a generation of young men who are who are so uh, mm. you know, full of themselves and eager and feel like they can conquer the world. And a, yes. I, I, I think that's actually not a, that's right. Th that's not at all what's happening with young men. Yeah. I think that it's if anything, it's quite the opposite. A lot of young men hmm. feel like. Um, you know, like they, they can't do anything. There's no point of even trying. I mean, there was mm -hmm. this there was this uh, viral TikTok video a couple of weeks ago of a kid, got, you know, kid looked like he was in his early 20s, and, and he was talking about how, um, you know, I, I, what if I, wh why should I have to work at all? I, I don't have ambition. I don't I don't want to do anything. I don't want to achieve. I you know I just want I just want give me a universal income and 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 uh, healthcare and why can't that be enough? Um, and maybe that's an extreme example, but I think there are a lot of young men who are just like that, who just kind of want to coast along. And so, what what I what I say to young men is like, this is your time to take risks, uh, to be ambitious, you know, um, and that should always be a part of your life, even as you grow older. But especially now, if you're if you're in your early twenties and you're not married and you don't have dependents, this is your time to do like do anything. I mean, go, you can move across the country. You can try to take some crazy job that you're not equipped for. You can, you could try anything. The stakes mm -hmm. are so low because even if it doesn't work out and you fail, mm -hmm. like worst case scenario, you're living, you're, you're living out of your car for a few weeks or something like you can do that. You can handle that because it's just you and you're yep. young and you're vibrant and you're physically able just take big risks, take big yes. swings. Um, that's good. In, in the pursuit of, in the pursuit of, uh, of, of achieving something, well, you know and what? What, what 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 pains me is that so many men. You know, when I was a, when I was young in my early twenties, that's how I, that's how I lived. Like I had huge, big yeah. dreams. That's all I cared about that's, was yeah. like what I wanted to achieve in life, and I knew what it was. That's that that was what I was one hundred percent focused on. And um, in the moment, it was okay if I was broke and I you know I could only eat. <laughs> you know, I, I went through three years where all I could eat was. I get a five dollar foot long from Subway yeah. every day. That's yeah. all I could eat. That's all I could afford to eat. Um, but I knew where I wanted to go, and I was willing to sacrifice to get there. That's and when good. I see young men today, they're just like they're not willing to make those sacrifices mm. and to go all in. That reminds, and to take those risks. reminds me of what the narrator in the Brothers Karamazov says of Alyosha. If I'm remembering correctly, it was something like he was very kind of idealistic, as a man should be at his age, or something to that effect. And so maybe there's something similar there. Like we want to see young men thinking they're invincible. Right. When I, when I, Now's the time to feel When that I talk way. about this, I hear from young men all the time who say, well, there's no jobs in where, where I live. There's, you know, there's, well, then, then freaking move. Like yeah. move to North Dakota, become, work on an oil rig or something. You can make yeah. six figures. Like just do anything. You can yes. do anything right now. And, this, and, and if it doesn't work out, you can still absorb that and deal with that. I have six kids now. If things don't work out for me, it's a disaster. It's like generation, you know, if things don't work out for me right now, generations potentially are ruined because of it. Um, but for you, mm. if you take a risk and you take a big swing and, it, and, and you strike out, it's okay. You could, you could try something else. And I, that's what I want to see young men do. Like if anything, if anything, I, I want to see them have less humility. I want, I want, yes. I want to see more ego, <laughs> yes. just like going out and going Because forward. life will beat the shit out of you and then right. you can be humble. Exactly. But how can you- yeah. how Right can now you is the time, between, between like 18 and 26 <laughs> is the time to feel like you can conquer the entire world yeah. and to have no concept of boundaries or you know, reality. Like that's the time. You I know, think. it's funny. There was a, I Thank think you. a rather numinous experience in this regard. I was senior year of college I was in the basement of my dorm with a friend of mine. We just left class, and I was figuring out what am I going to do. And I had two options: I could go to D.C. and take a stable job that was based on things that I'd already succeeded in, Screw and, that. or I could go do this crazy kind of path in New York yes. and Los Angeles and all this yes. crazy stuff. And I, but I was really hemming and hawing, and I ran into this woman. I'd never seen her. There, she was an older woman, and uh, I guess she was an alum or something. And I said, "Oh, hey," which comes up to us. What are you kids talking about? I said, oh, just talking about my entire future and you know, existential crises and all this. She said, well, what, what's the crisis? And I said, well, I'm deciding between do I go to D.C. or uh, do I go to New York and L.A. and do this kind of crazy thing? And uh, she said, well, and I explained to her the rationale for both. One, I would get a paycheck. The other, maybe not. She goes, well, it seems to me the only reason you wouldn't, 
in your circumstances that you wouldn't choose the latter is because you're a coward. What's your name? And her, la her last name was Washington, which I, I took as a little bit of a sign in the whole thing. But she said, no, go do the New York and L.A. thing. And so risked everything. It's, it's the same year as you're describing. Yeah. Up until about 26, well, 26, I, was, I got married when I was 23, and we were living in Ireland doing missionary work. And at the time, I was writing some things on pornography, and I was starting to speak on that. And I had two options before me move home to my small country town in South Australia and have like a job at the diocese. And the money was good for me at that point. It was secure, it was by my family. But I also felt like maybe the Lord was calling me to move to North America. This is how I'm here in the first place. And a very good friend of mine's mother, who I love, Evie Muldoon, a beautiful woman, she said something that's very cliche, but very helpful. She said, and if anybody else had a said it, I would have laughed at them, but she went, well, what does your heart say? And I went, I want to just go to North America and just try it. And she's like, we'll do that. Rude. I'm so glad I did it. You but know? doesn't, you know... i got a good wife, too, who's willing to take risks. That also, yeah, though... So that's the, so important. The, re the reason I mention humility is because that choice also requires humility. You're, you're willing to fail. You're right. You're willing yeah. to lose all your money, all your status. Yeah. I mean, when I think... For a lot of young guys who come up to these, you know, at a YAF conference or something, these are kids who were straight-A students... Uh, president of their class, you know, always succeeded by the metric that they were in, then got into some good college and then whatever. And so then the question is, are you willing to make a mockery of the things of this world, you know, and say, forget the status, forget the money, forget the this, forget the that. I think, uh, hopefully it's not just because of a disordered appetite, but because you think it's a real calling. I'm willing to go pursue this thing, even if I look like a fool yeah. doing it. And I, you have to be willing to do it. I think what we're, Ambition and humility are, yeah, they're not mutually exclusive. Right, and, th and those are the two. Those are the two parts of the the, the ingredients in the recipe. And uh, I think for a lot of young men, they really don't have either. <laughs> but if, if you have if you have right. both, then yeah. you know you're not guaranteed to success, but you're guaranteed a, well, a good chance so, at it. I think. I, 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 Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, or you're a dingus. What's a dingus exactly? used to refer to something one cannot or does not wish to name specifically. <laughs> you don't have to subscribe, but if you did, I'd love it. You dingus. Like the video. <laughs> That's who we're using that one. Take one.